bottom line, though, is you believe, in, and this has really nothing to do with these two people who are in the Olympics. Men fight men, women fight women, and if there are transgender athletes, they, they should fight, fight other transgender other. athletes. Yeah. Bottom line. Uh, that we'll, is my we'll stance on it. No. No. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. No. No. No, no, no. Clarissa, you got to be crazy if you think we're going to let you get away with that buffoonery. Because ain't you the same woman that had this to say about women fighting men? Don't disrespect my skills. Look, just because a man is a man and he's in boxing doesn't mean that they can beat me. Now, this is the same woman who was advocating to fight men. This all stemmed from an Olympic boxing match between Amani Kellef and Angela Karina. Now, 46 seconds into that match, Karina forfeited the match after Amani landed a few punches. She felt that power and said, I'm good. Now there was speculation that Amani was actually a transgender, but the truth of the matter was she was not a transgender, nor did she identify as intersex. She suffered from something that is called DSD. It's a disorder that makes the body develop differently and it can lead to a woman having the XY chromosome, but develop otherwise as female. She Are you sure? One. She, she was. was. Here's the thing. I don't know if you watch it, but when they bring these doctors, because right now there's a lot of transgender uh, people are trying right. to get rights. Right. And when they bring these people to Capitol Hill and these senators and these representatives uh, mm -hmm. on the other side, when they ask, they ask doctors very specific questions. Doctor, yes, I want to ask you one thing. Can this person that you're talking about, can they have a child? Can this woman have a child yes she right. can does okay. this woman have a period yes she does so how is she not a woman there was a there was a, a, a young lady from south mm -hmm. africa her name was castor semenya mm -hmm. she had high she was born a woman right but her body produces high levels of testosterone so with all the misinformation people thought a transgender was fighting a biological woman which prompted Clarissa Shields to give her two cents on the matter. I couldn't imagine getting inside the ring with the biological man. I mean, even though I spar against the men, but fighting for the Olympics is way bigger than that. It's so much more on the line. The guy I sparred, he was he was like a little, he was like a little Russian hater. He took the pad out of his gloves. I, I had whooped his ass on a Monday. Mm. And his coach wanted to spar again on Thursday. But he caught me, but he didn't have no pattern in his gloves. He know exactly who he is. Damn. The Olympics definitely dropped the ball, you know, and Listen, I don't I don't have anything against transgender women or transgender men. All I'm saying is that men should fight against men, women should fight against women, and transgenders should fight against transgenders. What? That is how I feel. I will stand with that. Um, I'm not homophobic or anything like that or against the gay community, yeah, but that's not right. What the fuck? If this came from any other woman boxer, I would be perfectly fine with it, but nah. You can't come out and call out Logan Paul, call out Keith Thurman, and now you're coming out taking a stance saying that women shouldn't fight men in boxing while you were advocating to fight men and was willing to put up 100,000 in an exhibition match against a man? Look, you're already one of the best boxers ever in your own sport. One can argue is possibly the GOAT. So why would you feel the need to call out a man? But you do it anyway and was actually pushing for a fight between you and a man to happen. Then soon as the fight happens between two women who one woman had a higher testosterone level, you quickly took to social media, TMZ, all these media outlets to speak out on how unfair it is. You're the last person I would expect to hear this from. If anything, I would expect you to embrace it and look forward to the Olympics in 2028. If I'm being truthful, I mean, who wouldn't want to see Clarissa Shields fight this woman? That's mind blowing. You're not like amazing. You gotta admit that amazing, right? Because you finally get to prove us wrong, even though a few people, for whatever reason, believe you have a shot. I think Clarissa would hang in there with Jake Paul. I do. You're, you're signing a death certificate. I'm going to tell you why I feel that way, because Clarissa has way more experience in the ring than Jake Paul. And I feel like just defensively, she could avoid enough punches. Jake Paul is 200 pounds. Yeah. Well, they have to fight in a catch weight. No. <laughs> you know? <laughs> that sounds kind of... Dumb, 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 dumb. No. There's no way in hell. I'm just telling you. Smart, 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 smart. I mean, I drop men. I, I bust men nose. I beat men up all the time. I stand with 
women should fight against women, men should fight against men. I think I could beat up Keith Thurman. It's not the first time she said it. Clarissa, what would you do? I mean, if, if you were in this position and it's perfectly possible that this could have happened to you if this had been a couple of years later, obviously, how, how would you have reacted? I mean, what, what do you do if if if, uh, if you feel like this is not actually being played, contested on a, on a level playing field? Well, I'm just my understanding. I would get in there and go for it because it's my dreams. You know, if, I, if I'm not fighting against a man, oh, you know, a woman can't be the man. When I was an undefeated champion, she still said the same thing. She had the audacity to say, I spar men. I I spar with men. I spar men daily, and that's the truth. Especially in boxing, I'll spar some of the names who you guys know right now. Anthony Durrell. Under the real, Shakur Stevenson, Keyshawn Davis. Women should fight against women. Men should fight against men. And transgenders, if if, if they're in boxing, should fight against transgenders. So I be they fall. For me, like I stand with what I said. Men fight against men. Yeah. Women fight against women. Seriously, and he not gonna take no offer to even come spar me. I put a hundred thousand on the table, and whoever wins is sparring can walk away with the dough. Men fight men, women fight women, and if there are transgender athletes, they, they should fight, fight other transgender other. athletes. Bottom line. Uh, that is my we'll stance on it. So was she bull jiving when she was calling out these men or saying I can beat Keith Thurman or I could beat Logan Paul? Bull jive! Or did she believe in her heart of hearts that she actually can beat these men? Now, I'm not denying that she doesn't have skills, but when it comes to men and women in combat sports, let the women fight the women and let the men fight the men. But if you're gonna openly come out your mouth, call out men, call out former champions, we don't wanna hear from you in a situation like this where it's led to believe that a biological woman fought a transgender man or somebody they believe to be a man and you come out as the poster child of saying it's not right and women should fight women and men should fight men. Because the truth of the matter is, women will take that outlier and think it's the norm. So when you have a society that think it's the norm for women to fight men, when you run into situations like this, nobody's gonna feel any sympathy and people are gonna look at it as, you wanted equality, you got exactly what you asked for. We cannot compete with women because a win is a loss. There's an old saying, be careful what you wish for because that very thing that you wish for so hard might be the very thing that you do not actually want. Like and subscribe to the channel. Let us know your thoughts in the comment section. We would love to hear your take on the matter. And if you want to see how this new boxing rule will destroy boxing for women, click this card that just popped up. Hey, that's that locker room talk right there. This was locker room talk. Hey, that's that locker room talk right there. This was locker room talk.